Yeah. Uh -huh. This this Cheyenne's a book about called a book called Dirty Feet. This one of Hunter's favorites, isn't it, my boy? Maybe. Maybe. Uh huh. She's got dirty feet. Look at the footprint she's making on the cover of the book. Look at the footprint she's making here. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Okay. Penelope, there's Penelope in bed. There she is laying in bed. And look at the shoes on the on the floor. They're by her room, right by her bed. What is this poster she has here? A it looks like a big picture of a froggy to me, doesn't it to you? Do you see the it's froggy up there, frog. Cheyenne? A dolly, isn't it? It's a dolly by her bed. And a frog, I think it's a frog. Anyway, it says Penelope had three pairs of shoes. There were light. a light, that's a light and a clock, alarm clock. Penelope had three pairs of shoes. There were the brown and white saddle shoes and the black ones she wore for dress up. But the shoes that she liked best were the bright green sneakers with the orange racing stripes. We don't call them sneakers, we call them running shoes, don't we? Okay, now, so she wore them to the park and she wore them when she visited her friends and she wore them to school. Every day, these are the shoes that she liked to wear to school. What are your favorite shoes? There's mommy. There's mommy. There's mommy. You and Shy Shy. Your te you don't have teenage Ninja Turtle shoes. You have your your multicolored Oshkoshes, and you have your white uh, Mario Brothers. I saw Do you like them best? And you have your black shoes. You have three nice pairs of shoes. Cheyenne has got a whole drawer full of shoes, don't you? You have red ones and white ones and black ones and brown ones and green ones and purple ones and magenta ones. She doesn't have green ones. She doesn't have green ones? That's about all she's missing. Everybody gave shy shy shoes, huh? All right, anyway, look at Here's Penelope. She wears these running shoes all the time. That's what she wears to school. They're her favorite shoes. And so one morning... The sneakers start to feel kind of tight because they're getting small, just like your Oshkoshies, Hunter. Your Oshkoshies are getting too tight to get them on your feet. And so they felt tighter than usual, but Penelope squeezed them on anyway, and she dashed out the door to school, and she said, Bye-bye, Mama. Bye-bye, Mama. And there's Mama, and there's little baby like Shy Shy. That's Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Here's, and here's Cheyenne's teddy bear. Right, Shy? <laughs> I don't know. He must be already at school. Anyway, it had rained during the night, and puddles were everywhere, and Penelope was careful not to step in any of the puddles, but the more she the walked... There's a doggy. There's a doggy looking at Penelope. There's Penelope... Uh-huh. Penelope, somebody put a boat in the little puddle. Penelope is sitting on the step, and she's, she takes off her shoes because her sneakers, her shoes, felt too tight. And finally, she, she just couldn't stand it. So she sat down, and she undid the laces, and she slipped them off, and she said, Whew, what a relief. But just then, the breeze came up, and it blew her hat away. Uh-oh, she left her shoes by the stairs. Now what? The doggy got them. The doggy's got them. Look at this, Cheyenne. Look, the doggy's taking the shoes. Uh-oh, the doggy's going to run off with them. Well, anyway, here's Penelope's hat, and it landed in the middle of the big mud puddle, and Penelope had no choice. She waded into the mud puddle. <laughs> And she got her feet all muddy and yucky. And she pulled her hat. She used a stick to pull her hat out of the mud. But the mud felt kind of cool and squishy on her feet. And just then the school bell rang. Ring! She heard it. It was way down the street. And she ran back to get her shoes. Uh-oh. What happened? The doggy took them. Did the doggy take them, Cheyenne? Yes. Yes. The doggy took the shoes, I'll bet, because the shoes are all gone. And it's too late to go home and get more because the school bell is ringing. She's got to go right to school. Oh, no, her teacher's going to be mad. Worst of all, her favorite shoes were lost. Oh, Penelope's going, oh, no, she's worried. And so she walked through more mud puddles. Look at this. She walked past the store. There's a cat looking in the garbage can. There's a man sweeping up the yuck. Walks down the street. And her feet are getting dirtier and yuckier and yuckier. And she gets to school. Look at this. Oh, the other kids are looking at her, and they're all going, Oh, yuck. Look at, look at Penelope. Because before she knew it, she was at school. 
And she walked through the hall and she left big, muddy, yucky footprints do, 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 right down the hallway. And she walked into her classroom and her teacher said, My goodness, Penelope, where are your shoes? Why are your feet so dirty? Well, Penelope just didn't know what to say. What would, Miss, would Mrs. James understand about the tight shoes and the mud puddle? Penelope, said Mrs. James, you go wash your feet. And then we'll try to find something to put on them. And all the other kids, look at, they're all looking at Penelope and going, oh, no, Penelope's in trouble. And so Penelope went into the washroom and she moved over a chair, moved the chair over, and she stood up and she put water in the wash basin and she wiped them off and she washed them off in the water, but there was no paper towel. And so she tried to shake her feet dry, but that didn't work. And so by the time she walked back to the class, her feet got all dirty again. All the dust in the hallway and everything was all dirty. Dirty feet again, said Mrs. James. Dirty footprints in the hall. Didn't you dry your feet? Couldn't, said Penelope. There were no towels. My goodness, tell Mr. Woodcock to bring towels and a mop. And then wash your feet again and dry them, and we'll keep looking for some shoes. Now look at this. What's on the floor? Mud. Mud. See this? Muddy footprints all over the floor. Oh, no. And so Mr. Woodcock was down in the basement, and the stairs were dark, and the floor was dirty. And so Penelope goes, <coughs> walks down the stairs. But by the time she gets to the bottom of the stairs, she's dirtier than ever. Look, at, she's really getting yucky now. Then she told the uh, janitor about the mop and, uh, and how her, she'd made footprints upstairs. And so then she tripped. Oh, no. <laughs> and she fell down into a pile of greasy rags. And now, not only are her feet are dirty. Yeah, yeah, it was yucky. Look, not only are her feet dirty, but look at this. Her face is dirty. Her hair's dirty. Her sweater's dirty. Oh, yuck. I have it, Daddy. Yeah, I know. Well, Mrs. James shook her head. She says, my goodness, you just keep getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier, Penelope. Look at her. What do you think, Hunter? Dirty. She's really dirty, isn't she? Dirty right there. Dirty right there. I know, Shai Shai. So. Dirty and Barbara. Where? Dirty and Barbara. Yes, Cheyenne sees it. Well, anyway, Mrs. James says, See if the lost and found box has some shoes. I couldn't find any. Then wash up as best you can, and Penelope, come Tell back to class. Uh, uh-huh. Well, look. What's she do now? Look at muddy. Yeah, well, now she walked in the paint. Somebody was painting the floor in the principal's office, and she goes, doo, 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 right into the paint. And so what does she say? What does the principal say? What? What do you think that she says to Penelope? They painted the floor, that's right. So Penelope didn't even notice the paint until her feet started to feel wet and sticky. Oh boy, she thought. Just then, Mrs. Pierce, Mrs. Price, the principal, <laughs> appeared in the doorway. And she looked at Penelope, and Penelope looked at her, and the two of them broke out laughing. Look at they started to laugh. Well, Penelope, Mrs. Hey, Price said finally. Daddy? Mrs. James told me you were coming, but I guess I Daddy? didn't get here soon enough, Daddy? so... Daddy? Her face is all messy, isn't it, sweetheart? Yes, it is. It's all messy. She got dirt. Just sometimes you do that. You get dirt all over no, your face. No. Oftentimes, Hunter does that. Oh, sweetie, you got such a cold, don't you? Oh, oh Hunter has got such a cold, and he just doesn't understand it. Buddy it's not even a cold. It's a bronchial croupy, isn't it, buddy? He took you to the doctor... And it's just not feeling better today, is it, sweet boy? Hmm? It's night time. It's night time, and I know it gets worse at night time. Well, um, we'll put your your steamer back on there in a minute, and that'll help you to breathe. It's night time. If it's not better tomorrow, we're going back to the dock, okay? Have them give you some more medicine. Anyway, Mrs. Price said, come on over, and they looked in the lost and found box, and there was a coat. And look at this. Somebody left a sandwich in there, didn't they? <laughs> no. And there was an old Batman cape, and there was a lot of junk in the box. And so Mrs. Price said, well, here, here's a pair of old shoes. Ah, oh, they're for ladies, but, uh, well, we can stuff them with some paper towels 
And when you go home for lunch, you can put on your own shoes. So look at this. Penelope went back to her class, and she has on great big mama shoes, doesn't she? Huh? Mama shoes? Yep. Everybody laughed in the class. The other kids laughed. Even Penelope joined in. She had to admit, had to admit that her feet looked silly. And so on the way home, Penelope walked as quickly as she could, and she walked in these big purple shoes. Look at this. And she stayed away from the mud puddles, and she was just about home when the mailman stopped her and said, Bernardo. Well, what did he say? What? He says, I have your shoes, your sneakers, your running shoes, Penelope. I knew they were yours. He said, a dog left them under a tree. And so the mailman picked them up and gave them to Penelope, and she put them back on, but they still hurt her feet because her feet were getting big. And so she went home, and here's Mama holding the baby, and Mama says, why are you so dirty? And why are you carrying those old purple shoes? Oh, it's a long story, said Penelope. I'll tell you during lunch. All right, said Mama, but she said, first I have a surprise for you. What was the surprise? Shoes. New shoes. A new pair of running shoes, just like her old ones, except these were big enough for her feet. These fit her. And so she gave Mama a great big hug, and Mama, and she says, thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. And Mama said, oh, mm, and she gave her a kiss, and she said, I love you. You like that? Mm. That's one of your favorite books, isn't it, huh, Shane? Baby. You've always liked that. I'm a dad. Okay. Cheyenne has requested puppy love. Okay? Barkley. Is that Barkley? <laughs> Is it? I said, by me. Well, I wish I could help. You're cold, my young man. I just hate it when you don't feel good. All right, who are these? Ernie took them back home. Bert and Ernie. And Ernie's doing what, Cheyenne? Telephone. Telephone, that's right. He's talking on the telephone. It says it was a quiet morning on Sesame Street. And Ernie and Bert had just Ernie. finished breakfast. And Ernie's having breakfast. He's eating cereal. This book is called Puppy Love. Anyway, hello, said Ernie into the telephone. Mm -hmm. Sure, don't worry. You can count on us. Well, goodbye. Ernie, Bert said, who is that on the phone? Who can, who can count on us? Bert. Yeah, well, that's Bert, that's right. He says, that was Barbara, said Ernie. She called to ask us a favor. What? Yeah, I know, sweetie. What? Uh-huh. What? Uh, Ernie and Bert. Bernie and Bert, they like each other, don't they? Yeah, she said Bernie and Bert. Oh, she says it rare. She says it very well. Cheyenne speaks very well. She said Ernie and Bert. Just have to listen. Okay. He said, well, that was Barbara, said Ernie. She called to ask us a favor, and I said that we'd do it. Oh, good, said Bert. What kind of favor? Oh, it's nothing much, Bert, said Ernie. I just said that we'd take care of Barbara's dog, Hulk, while she visits her grandmother today. And so, Ernie, Ernie... You, you don't know the first thing about taking care of dogs, said Bert. How can we take care of dogs? Oh, don't worry, Bert, Ernie said. Look, at he's walking over now, and he's opening the door. Nothing to it. Come on. We'll have to meet Barbara and Hulk. And there's Barbara, and they meet. Here's Bert, and there's Ernie. They meet Barbara at the corner, and Barbara leaves them with a little dog called Hulk. Is that a cute dog? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Hi, Bert. Hi, Ernie, said Barbara. They all met in front of Mr. Hopper's store. I'm glad that you can take care of Hulk. I know that you'll do a really terrific job. I have to go now or I'll miss my bus. Goodbye. What are we going to do with the dog? Huh, Ernie? Yes, Bert. Oh, who's this dog? Barkley. Barkley? Barkley. You like Barkley, don't you? I like the doggies. Yeah. Um, well, I like that. That's Hulk. I like that. That's Hulk dog, and this is Barkley dog. Oh, Dad. Okay, you can have that dog. I give him to you right now. I want the big dog. Okay, Hunter wants Barkley, and you get to have Hulk. Okay, Shy. Okay, Hunter. Okay, I got an idea, Bert. Said Ernie. Baby. Uh huh. As he saw, you like the babies, don't you? You like baby everything. I know you do. Baby. Yeah, I know. Baby Michael. Baby. 
baby doggy. I got an idea. A bad baby. <laughs> yes, it is baby because it's little, huh? Okay. He said, hi, Barkley. He said, Bert and I have to take care of this cute little puppy. Maybe you can give us a hand. I mean, give us a paw, Barkley. And so Barkley grabbed Hulk's leash and began leading the puppy down the street. Come on, Bert, said Ernie. Barkley's taking Hulk for a walk. I guess he's trying to tell us that puppies need exercise. And so here they go. Down the street they're running. Barkley has the leash that's attached to Hulk. And so the little dog's chasing after Hulk. Anyway, at last, Bert and Ernie caught up with the dogs, and they all walked to the park. Okay, Bert said. I'm going to take a stick and throw it across the lawn. And so he throws it. Now let's play hide and, hide and seek, says Ernie. And he jumped behind a tree to hide. Bet you can't find me. Where is he? Where's Ernie? There he is. That's right, Cheyenne. He's hiding behind the tree. Okay. After a while, Bert and Ernie and Barkley and Hulk plopped down under a shady tree. Boy, am I tired and hungry, said Bert. Yeah, so am I, said Ernie. I'm tired and I'm hungry. Come on, Bert, said Ernie. Let's take Barkley and Hulk home, and we'll feed them some lunch. I'll bet they're hungry, too. And so off they go. Dum, 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 dum. They're walking down the path, going home. You're right, Ernie. He said, look at this. Here's a dog showing. They're just eating up the dog food. And the dogs are really hungry and thirsty. And look at Here's little Hulk, and she's drinking. And here's big Barkley, and he's look at the food's flying. It's going. And he's just going. Chomp, 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 chomp. Anyway, now it looks to me like Barkley's had enough food. And so Ernie says, what do we do now? What should we do now? Well, Bert was trying to figure out an answer. Barkley dashed out the door and down Sesame Street. Barkley, wait! Where are you going? Said Bert. And so they ran after him. Uh-oh, look it. He's going to fill up the swimming oh, that, pool. Oh, that. You know, we have a swimming pool around here somewhere. Where is it? I don't know. we got to find it. Oh, Dad. I think oh, we put Dad. it away. I forget when oh, we bought Dad. it. Oh, Dad. That's a doggy, I know. Oh, Dad. Okay, you can have them. That's your dog. Hulk's your dog. Anyway, uh, we have a swimming pool like this, and we can put some water in it, and we can go out and play in it. Is it up in the attic? I don't know if it's in the attic or where. We'll ask Mama. Mama, no. Look. I know a lot of I mean, things. you got to get over your cold, though, I'm sure. I like to get the friendly bowl. A friendly bowl. Huh? A friendly bowl. That's a swimming pool. And Barkley is filling it up with a hose. Look at that. And look at what did Barkley do? In the water. He jumped in the water. That's right. He jumped in the water. And so Bert and Ernie put some soap on him and go, doo, 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 and they gave him a bath. See that? They gave Barkley a bath, and now they're taking some water, and they're squirting it on Hulk. And what's this? Why would they call that doggy that day? Why'd they call him Hulk? I don't know. I think because a little doggy and a Hulk would be a huge doggy, so it's kind of a joke name. Anyway, Bert and Ernie dried Hulk and Barkley with a big towel. Now what, said Bert? What do we do now? Oh, I don't know, said Ernie. But I think Barkley does. See? He's brought us his brush. Oh, I found a hose. Uh-huh. Suppose the water's out there. They Look, at Barkley wants to be brushed. How do you brush? You take it like this, and he goes, brush, 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 brush. Look at how shiny and soft Hulk's coat is getting. Right, Ernie, said Bert. Let's brush Barkley next. And so they brushed him and brushed him. And then they went back inside the house, and in the middle of the living room, Hulk yawned, a great big yawn. He's getting sleepy. Hey, Ernie, said Bert, I just thought of something else we could do. What's that? We could make the puppy a bed. And so they laid out a blanket on the floor, and look at Barkley went to sleep in the corner, and little Hulk went to sleep on the blanket. Well, now we can sit down and rest, said Ernie, and he plopped down in the chair, and Bert looked out the window. But they didn't last rest for very long because here comes Barbara. Hi, Hulk, said Barbara, when she came in the house. It looks like you've had a good time. Thanks, Ernie. Thank you, Bert. Thanks, Bartley. Ah, it was nothing, said Bert. We just took him for a walk and played games with him and fed him, and then we washed him and brushed him and let him take a nap.
That's what Ernie said. Anyway, now we're going to miss them, they both said. And so Barbara is taking Hawk off down the road. You know, Ernie, said Bert, taking care of a pet is a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. It sure is going to be lonely around here without a dog to take care of. Don't worry about it, Bert, said Ernie. I have a feeling that we're going to have a dog to take care of very soon. And there here comes Barkley. He wants to be brushed and walked and bathed. Ah, silly book. <laughs> I'm that. I'm that. Huh? You want to read this book? This book is called All By Myself. What is this little thing? Do you guys know? Chipmunk. Is it a chipmunk? Do you think there's a chipmunk? I see a, I see a shoes. Yeah, it's his shoes. That's right. It's his shoes. They're red and white and they're black. See? Uh -huh. and he's brushing his hair, isn't he? What is it? Is this a chipmunk? Yeah. I'll call him chipmunk, too. He has this little mouse friend who's with him in every picture, doesn't he? The little mouse is always watching his friend. What's this up here? Train. See this toy train? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a little boy, and he's getting up. Ooh, what's this he's driving? Motorcycle. Ah, oh, it looks to me like a bike -o. But it's a funny bike -o. It's kind of a funny bike but it's very much like your Ghostbusters bike -o. But it's a funny one. It said, here he is, he's climbing out of bed. He says, I can get out of bed all by myself. You can get out of bed all by yourself. Yeah. Cheyenne can't get out of bed quite yet out of, all by herself. She could if we put down the railing, couldn't we? And she's getting so she really wants to. And Tommy. Mm -hmm. I, I well, we'll get your jammies in a little bit. We don't need them quite yet. And he says, I can button my overalls all no. by myself. Where's the mouse? There's, one. There's the mouse. The mouse is watching him. <laughs> he says, I can brush my hair all by myself. Can you brush your hair by yourself? No? You like Mama to do it? I got I, I can. Yeah. He says, I can put on my socks all by myself. No, I know you can do that, Hunter. And Cheyenne does a pretty good job of putting on her socks, too, don't you? Shy Shy. Is that Shy Shy? That's a boy. <laughs> okay, well, whatever you want. That's Shy Shy. Oh, is that Shy Shy, too? Well, that's then Shy Shy, shy is just tied that's together. Shy Shy. That's Shy Shy. Is that, is that Shy Shy? Okay, well, Shy Shy just tied her shoes together, then. Uh oh, she can't walk. Look at that. That's Hunter. Is it Hunter? Okay, one page will be Hunter and one page will be Cheyenne. Okay, Look now. There's Cheyenne. Oh, Cheyenne's in the heights here now, huh? Okay, this is Hunter and this is Cheyenne. He says, I can pour some juice for my sister Cheyenne, but what happened? Did he pour the juice? Huh? But he poured it on the table. He poured it on the table, and it all fell down on the floor. What a mess, Cheyenne. Look and at this. No, no, no. That's right. No, no, no. You pour that juice into the cup. Don't pour it on the table. No, I try. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at Mouse and Mouse has got an umbrella because he didn't want to have orange juice fall on his head. Now Cheyenne is up in the high chair, and here comes Hunter, and she's going to help her eat breakfast. Look at Mousey. He poured some on my head. That's right. Look at what did she do? Cheyenne poured the cereal on Hunter's head. Oh, no. What would you do if she really did that? I'll burn her head. Oh, no, no, Hunter, you wouldn't do that to your nice, lovely little sister. He says, I can pull a duck for her. And she's going, yay, duck, quack, quack. He says, I can drive my truck. Look at this, he's got a green truck. He goes, mmm, mmm. about to stop, truck. Stop. He said, I can ride my bike. And he's chasing the mouse. Chasing the mouse. He's riding his bike. Look at that. Uh-oh, what did he do here, Cheyenne? And water. What did he pour the water on? Um, the back. He's put it on the teddy bear, didn't he? Uh oh, he's going to get in trouble now. Don't, no, 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 don't pour water on the teddy bear. And he says, well, I can kick my ball. And look at, he's kicking a football. He says, I can roll on the ground. You can roll on the ground, can't you? Maybe. You can roll on the ground, can't you, Cheyenne? I can't do what I would need. Oh, you can roll easy on the ground like that, big boy. Do you have to go potty, sweetie? Get all muddy. Huh? Get all muddy. So get all muddy, you mean rolling on the mud? Oh, you're right. He says, I can pound with a hammer. 
and I can sail my boat. And look at the little mouse is in the boat, and he gets in a puddle of water, and he, he's blowing on the boat, and it makes the boat go shh across the water. But he has a oar. Yeah, he's got a sail. And he says, I can look after my sister. So look at this. He puts a leash on his sister. And there's Cheyenne going, I want butterfly. And she's chasing the butterfly. Yeah. yeah. And and he's holding up a, a spinner. That's a pinwheel. Oh, you're right. I couldn't think of the name, Hunter. It is a pinwheel, my boy. It's a pinwheel. I see a ladybug in this page. Do you see it? Where is it? I can see it. That's right. Um, and what's that? Baby ants are a big ant. Oh, yeah. What are those, Cheyenne? What are they, sweetheart? Those are flies. Books. They're flies. Well, they're not flies. They're ants. That's a ladybug. Ladybug. Here's a dragonfly. Ladybug. All right, those aren't bats. I think those are just birds. Bats come in at night, and it's daytime. It's a bug. Those are birds. And the mouse is just laying there watching the ladybug. Okay, now he says, I can help my dad trim a bush. Uh-oh, don't cut off the flowers, Hunter. He says, I can put some frosting on a cake for my mom. And mom says, Hunter, uh, I think you're eating the frosting. You're not putting it on the cake. Put it on the cake, Hunter. Like, what did you do tonight? You put an olive back in the olive jar after you played with it on your finger, didn't you? <laughs> and mommy went, no! Didn't she? Daddy went no, too. Anyway, it said, I can look at a book and find a mouse. Look at, he looks in the book. Here's Hunter. He's showing Cheyenne. That's Cheyenne. Oh, that's Cheyenne. But Cheyenne doesn't have a bottle anymore, do you? No. But no. Is she a bottle? No. Is she a bottle? Because Cheyenne is two years and three months old, and she See? does not have bottles anymore. She doesn't have a bottle. Yeah, right but that's just kind of a... This Cheyenne does, but this one right here doesn't have bottles because she's so big. I think we got rid of the Yep, the mousey. This is the mouse, the book says. And he says, I can color a and picture. Uh-huh. Mousey. Right. Did, can you color with crayons? Yes, you can. I know you can. Hunter's getting better every day. He's getting so he can stay inside the lines real good, can't you? And he says, I can put my toys away. Do you put your toys away, Hunter? Legs. No, we don't I have a maid. Take to put away your toys. Daddy's been making you put your toys away more lately. Dad. That's a tennis racket. Uh huh. There's a bunny. This is an airplane, huh? It's a slide. It's a slide. Yes. Where's Cheyenne? Well, I don't know. Cheyenne must be in her room. And then he says, I can get into my jammies all by myself. That's can mommy. you get into your jammies all by yourself? That's mommy. Sure you can. That's mommy. Uh-huh. That's her dad. Uh-huh. That's her door. And he says, I can brush my own teeth. What is he doing here? He's really kind of a thing. Isn't he putting too much toothpaste on the toothbrush? Look at this. He's putting all this too much on here. What do you think? Can you brush your own teeth, Cheyenne? Look. I know. I see. Yeah. Do you see where the mouse is hiding in this picture? Right down behind look, the worst face. Look, look, look. Oh, look at this. It's What's this? Boat. What's that? Like a boat. He's keeping in his shoes. That's right. Look at the mouse sleeps in the little boy's shoe. Isn't that cute? It says, I can put myself to bed, but I can't go to sleep without a story. And my daddy comes and reads me a story. Does your daddy read you stories at night? Yeah. Yeah, he does. He loves to read you stories. And then daddy gives you a big hug and says, night, night, Hunter. Night, night, Cheyenne. Hey, and we put daddy. on your tapes and we brush our teeth and get a drink of water. We close the closet door. Always want the closet door closed, don't you, Hunter? And then you're ready to go night-night, huh? I don't know how to close my eyes. You don't know how to close your eyes? No. What do you mean you don't know how to close your eyes? I don't do that. No, that's three books. That's pretty good for tonight. <laughs> it's, I want you, you're not feeling good. I want you to, I want to get your humidifier back on. I want you to lay down. Oh, the goat? 
Yeah. Is this really important that we read the goat? Huh? Yeah. All right, we'll read the goat here in a minute. It won't hurt to read one more story, will it? Look, look, broken. It had. Oh, when we were at Disneyland the other day, and we watched the parade, the ladies were throwing necklaces, and Daddy caught one, didn't he? And Cheyenne loves it. She just wears it and wears it. What'd you get at Disneyland, Hunter? What? What did you get at Disneyland when we went the other day? I did read it. Poster. And what else, what animal did you get? It's the reader. Tigger. You, you got Tigger, didn't you? I don't know. They look pretty real. Did you see the big one at the, at the, at the place? I'll read it in a minute. Did you like? Uh, who all did you see? Well, I, I saw the big bad wolf at there. No. At Disneyland. Hunter, uh, Cheyenne, did you see the big bad wolf? I like that wolf. You didn't like that wolf, did you? You grabbed Daddy tight around the neck. You liked the ducky, but you didn't like the big bad wolf, did you? Because he had great big teeth, and you went, oh, you don't like him. And daddy. And then we went into the, we went into Snow White's ride, and that witch came out, didn't she? Did he like Cheyenne that? really didn't like the witch.